Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, check the fiber. TF40 in the 315. As you guys know, I like weight. And this has the weight. Will I like it? Stay tuned. All right, so this is the newest rendition of the TF40 series that Technofiber makes. Uh, second gen of this racket, 315, unstrung weight, box beam, which is meant for more flex, meant for players out there, the players out there. Um, so meant for good control, extra weight, flex the hard hitters, like my man Medvedev right here. Let's check out the vitals here. 98 square inch head, guys. 11.7, you know I like weight. 3.32. Eight points head light. 12.51 on that balance board. So head lighter. Swing weight is 3.13. Lighter in the head versus the 3.05. 64 RA across the board on all the TF40 series. Beam is 22, 22, 22, just like the rest of the other TF40 series is too. I'm guessing after we put strings in here, and it's gonna be those specs, that this racket is actually gonna travel through the air pretty quickly for a heavy racket. So let's so string it up, and we'll see you on the court. All right guys, on the court, Got my man Coach Goo, Tech the Fiber, TF40, 315. Excited to try this. All right, Coach Q, TF40, 315, what'd you think? Overall, it is a great stick. Um, usually, I do, don't like Technofibers as much. They feel kind of weird to me. But this one, in particular, I really like. Um, I might even want to test it out more. Um, overall, it just reminds me of a Wilson Blade and a Yonix, the old version, the Yonix 95. Not the red and the blue, but the all red one. Um, it is a 16 by 20, and it definitely felt super easy to play with. Um, the pop was there, the feel was there, the overall distribution of the weight was there. I mean, I was shocked because this is probably my sec second Techno Fiber I ever played with, and it's pretty dangerous. It's I'm kind of starting to like this racket a lot, so. Um, yeah, I mean, overall, great stick to play with, and I'm definitely going to try more of this out. That's pretty impressive for Goo to want to keep one of these rackets, because he usually wants to stick with what he knows. Mm -hmm. So that's, for him to even want to do that, is pretty rare. Um, I true. agree with Goo in that um, racket plays great. Really smooth, you set the path, it takes over great when you contact this ball when you contact the ball perfectly you know it's gonna go you really do you hit the sweet spot you know you hit the sweet spot if you Feedback hit back is there yeah, yeah you hit it flush ball takes off um, easy to spin easy to get around for a racket you know on the heavier side like this it was actually easy to get the racket around mm -hmm. Um, I mean, Goo gets everything around, and he even wanted to ask, excuse me, add more weight to it. So he's like, I think this would be perfect for me if I added some weight to three and nine. That's all we really need, actually. 
which is kind of just like his own blade. Yeah. So I like I don't want to say it, but I'm going to hold on to this too, but I'm going to let Goo try it more cuz he's I'm always I'm in curious. the market. I'm, I'm always curious. <laughs> he's always in the market. Um not I mean, as much as Chris. Yeah. But <laughs> I mean, I'm very surprised cuz this is technically my sec- second techno fire. I played with the other techno fires when they had the Zeus, like all the Oh god. I I know those rackets. No. No. Those are the old days, and no. I wasn't a huge fan of those, but with this one, I was like, hmm, that's not that bad. These actually, are well designed. Like this, I like this one a lot, so definitely you want to try those out. The box beam. Yep, just like just like the blade I have. Yep, flex, flex feel on the yeah. box beam. I think this could be thinner than my my blade, honestly. It's probably, it could, it could be, be the same. maybe a little. It's a 22 tiny. all around. It's okay, a 22. so kind of the same, yeah. But it looks thinner. I don't know. It's just a white. You know, you yeah. put white on, you look... No, actually, no, it's the opposite. Black, dude. black, dude. Sorry. This looks fatter, actually. No, just kidding. Anyways, <sighs> let's talk about the, the most important thing about this racket. Yes. The way it looks. It is super simple, and I love it. And the accents of the tiny colors, like the camo, subtle, very subtle. I like it. It's really clean. Most rackets nowadays, especially the Babylons, I'm going to call out, are super loud, especially also the heads too. They're really, really colorful. So for me, I like to keep it plain and simple with tiny accents. This is the racket cosmetic that I want on my racket, really. So Babylon and Technifabri is both wee oui, wee oui, Frenchy. I know, but this is more toned down to our market, and I like it way more compared to, you know. Pure strike, pure strike, pure strike, pure strike. Right, right. <laughs> Got you. They're trying to be like, let's sport suck, you know? We're more tasteful here. More yeah. trendy here. Younger. More, yeah, yeah, more. Yeah, it definitely fits the younger audience way more. So so that's the TF40315. We both love it. Mm-hmm. Guys, if you're a player, like a player, try this racket out. Coach Goo, want to thank you for hitting this racket with me. Where can we find you? You can find me at agu.tennis. I'll also be posting content there as well. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.